August 8th, 2023. I'm excited for this. Oh, what? Was that Applin? Like, weird for- What was that? Okay, I love Applin, so whatever that was, I'm excited for that. Look at that Applin! <laughs> I love him! Dude, I love Applin so much. Candy Applin? In battle, Kieran uses a new evolution of Applin. Meet Diplin, a Pokemon that looks a lot like a candy apple. Oh my god! <laughs> it's an evolution! There. Right there. This was the moment I knew what I had to do. I had to bring a bunch of apples into the Teal Mask DLC. But not red apples, no. Green apples. I decided to play the entirety of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Teal Mask DLC with a team full of shiny Applin and Applin Evolutions. This is part one. And well, I had to actually find the shiny Applin first. Six. I needed six Granny Smiths. So I spent a week live on twitch.tv slash partyarly shiny hunting in the tag tree thicket for shiny Applins using the outbreak method. Honey bunches of oats. I, I feel like <laughs> we're locked up. I went through this insane apple. Let's go. Green apple believers. Do I want to know? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> A last minute upset in the prediction. A last minute upset in the prediction. Who would have thought? I took this history class from this professor who the way he ah! <laughs> let's go and there's this guy who will bike shiny applin let's go dude two apples two apples today we just need two more i would be very interested to read this oh <gasps> no there's a shiny Applin right there. No, come back. <laughs> he rolled away. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Oh. With my six shiny apples by my side, it was finally time to take on the Teal Mask DLC. Hello, hello, Arlie. This is Jacques. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. Do you believe it, Arlie? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. To study and experience the great outdoors of the off to the east in the land of Kitakami. Kitakami? It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one getting selected as one of those participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. can't see them at all you cannot see the applin okay this is our squad oh my god what is he doing is this is the squad you can't really see them at all let us get started for real this time um who are you i can only assume i must talk to you are you oh you must be you're one of the students chosen for the school trip aren't you and your name was harley haven't even introduced myself call me miss briar my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. The school in the, in the Unova region. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. Anyway, the school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. Search beyond Paldea's borders. Sable Eye is in the background doing some weird shit. Hope you don't mind flying or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out. Do you know of the Violet Book? I do know of it. As you should, it was the most influential book of the century. Author of the Violet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor. Heath, 
Look here, there are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. A disc Pokemon. I found a strange entity while separated from the research team in the crater's depths. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter, still than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. I have ten tentatively named this creature Terrapagos. Terrapagos. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. Is my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true? But I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero. Who are these children? They are so small. Looks like the gang's all here. Oh, look at the plane. That was me yesterday. Me on the side. Oh, there's a little dragon there under it. That was so cute. Dragonite, sorry. Me taking pictures for no reason. Finally here. Welcome to the land of Kitakami. Whooper! Look at the whoopers. They're vibing. Up ahead is Masui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness. Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sights of the field? Could you run ahead to the community center in Masui and let the caretaker know we're here? It'd be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. All right, check this out. We're here. Uchiana Swaddle. Look at all the babies. Oh my god, my man's the oh my god. I'm so happy. Okay, we should probably catch him, right? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Spider. Why are you 56? All right, let's level up our apples a little bit. <laughs> I decided to try and catch just about every Pokemon I saw once I got to Kitakami. I did my best to catch everything new once I reached a new part of the island. I was excited to see so many Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon, but there was one Pokemon that decided early on in the DLC that it was going to be the main antagonist of my playthrough. Okay. Hello, little guy. Oh! Oh no. This doesn't look good for us. All right, I don't want this one. I don't want I don't want this Yanma. I'm not interested. I'll take a different one. I'll take this one. Okay, you know what? I don't want a Yanma. I have decided I'm good without it. What are you doing here, little guy? Where's Wooper? Here's a Wooper. Hello? Is this Wooper just... Is he decor? He is. Okay. Nickname it decor. <laughs> All right, here are these gamers. So, you're one of the students who came from the Paldea region? Whoa, way cool. Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmen. Carmine? Sorry, but I just can't let an outsider like you wander into Masui Town. You insist on coming in? Oh, no. Can I heal my two Applin? All right, let's do this game position. Can I please heal my two Applin? Girl. No, please let me heal. <laughs> no. I don't even know what my Applin know. All right, Pucciana. We're going to destroy you. Apparently you're level like six, right? 6D. 6D, okay. <laughs> Let's get that defense up. We only know Astonish and Withdraw, it's true. The rumors are true, I should have looked at my moves. I wasn't expecting a fight though, to be fair. I am a little overwhelmed by this defeat. I can't, I can't deny it. Wowzers, you're almost as strong as my sis. Do I have to rebattle you? Oh, let's go. Why, hello there, stranger. Must be one of the students that from the Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Masui Town and a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. Go ahead and get yourself settled in at the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. Oh, who, who? <laughs> oh, look at the chingling on the left. I know it's a bit early, but why don't we have dinner then call on a night? Something that I really miss, I really like just think back on fondly, is whenever you would eat the potato mochi in Legends Arceus and the music that would play whenever you would have that cutscene. I miss that so much. You ate Ochi. <laughs> but remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. So here's Paldea. Here's Kitakabi. Apple Hills! Let's just sleep. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. So they're from Unova. This school trip of yours will be an exercise in 
Orienteering. Have you split into pairs, and each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kinokami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down. Read them all and learn a little bit about our home. To prove you have completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to, to complete your mission. Self-guided tour. Got a gift for each of you as well. Roto stick, a selfie stick, let's go. This is gonna make Apple and picture taking a lot easier. So I have to pair up with one of them? You're Riley or whatever, right? Let me guess, you wanna pair up with one of us? Poor lonely blueberry student. Students? Not really. My little brother here has been all googly eyed over you since yesterday. Wouldn't stop talking about you even at home. Oh my god, that's so awkward. Look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. Probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. <sighs> Let me teach him some moves real quick. Okay, let's see if we can teach our apple in anything. Oh boy, this will be fun. Pounce. <laughs> <laughs> Why you can't learn metronome? <laughs> no! What are you talking about? You can't learn grass knot. Got lots of options right now. <laughs> no giga train! <laughs> There's only two TMs and pounce is one of them. It looks like we gotta let some of these Applin evolve Applin evolve. Oh good, it can learn Terra Blast. Alright, uh should we teach it to Applins? The Terra Blast? I might regret this. Let's use the 67 up at the front. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll terastalize and then we'll use Terra Blast, I guess, and see what happens. All right, let's 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 hope for the best here. Okay. Center it, you're going down. We got Terra Blast. All right, here we go. Terra Blast. This is it. Dude. We're cooking. Finally. I'm scared to know what his next Pokemon is. Yeah, at least he only has two Pokemon. <laughs> What's next? Oh no. Yanma, even worse than Arceus. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> He's back and he wants revenge. <laughs> Buzz those wings. No, Yanma. Keep the wing put the wings away. Okay. Just one shot it. Come on, Applin. Okay, we're really close. This is not a Nuzlocke. No way. No way. Here, what we can do is we can switch out. All right, we're going to send in another Applin. Another, a different Applin. And then we're going to heal the Applin we have, we had out earlier. Since he is the highest level. All right, here we go. Who would have guessed? I have another Applin up my sleeve. All right, this is the easiest fight ever. Make a harder game, Nintendo. And finally, we don't lose money. <laughs> What is he doing? Anyway, chicken dancing to his own beat. Should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. Looks like we should probably start with the sideboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's the apple orchards on the west side of village. It's close by. Figured it might uh, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. Okay. We can't ride on Maraidon. Never mind. We can ride on Maraidon. So that's fun. All right, let's see some other Pokemon we can catch. Apple Hills. Apple and Juice Ekans, you little freak. What are you doing in this game? Look at him slithering. <gasps> Ain't no way. My enemy. Not you. Anything but Bellsprout. I'm, I'm fighting for my life out here. All these Pokemon are like in the 60s. It's crazy. Okay, here are some apples. My brother's... Great ball. I'm just looking for like caramel apple dip or something. All right, another sweet apple. Wait, what is this? <gasps> is that an apple hanging in the tree? Okay, so now we know there are applin like, yeah, they're hiding in the tree. Interesting. Look at this area. Dogs. Royal Three Monument. Long ago, these three courageous Pokemon protected Masui Town from destruction. They defeated the ogre that had come to attack the village at the cost of their own lives. Their remains were laid to rest with the people's respects below these very statues. Puchiana. Who the hell? Shrek is in the game. All right, is this it over here, I'm guessing? Yes, I can definitely read that. That's the first signboard. Sorry, did I startle ya? I already know the whole story, so go ahead, you should check it out. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre. 
in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okie Doji, Okie Doggy, Okie Dogi, Monkey Dory, and Fez Fezendipity all happened to be there as well. Three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. What about Metapod? Yeah. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this grave trio the title the Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and the statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. We already saw it. But don't you think this o the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? It was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? Don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times at night all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. So yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. Could you? Dude, that's how I'm trying to be. No smartphone. Cute! So the next, er, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. It's, well, first double back to town from here, then there's a bridge you cross, and from there you need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back now and meet you there later. All right, next signboard is over here. Oh my god, it's so far away. Now, if we wanted to, we could try to go the long way. Oh, <gasps> it's him. He's asleep. It's Munchlax! <laughs> it's a pebble! <laughs> Big eater Pokemon! <laughs> hey, little guy! There's so many, like, little fun bugs. <gasps> Look who just walked up! Senor? I didn't know he was in the game! <laughs> Oh, <gasps> nose pass. What you doing, gamer? Let's head in. Hello. Unremarkable teacup. A peculiar teacup. The oh, way it did not let me read. Unremarkable teacup. A peculiar teacup that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It may be cracked, but tea drunk from it is delicious. Hello, Mudsdale. All right, let's go to the other post signpost. Let's fly back, I guess. See that? My man. I love C Dot. Look at him go. B A corn Pokemon. Chimeco! What's up, buddy? Hello, everybody. I've arrived at my destination. Ah, uh, this one. That's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? Sorry, I'm following at a distance, so I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its kujul will cha would change. When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing a blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone into two. Before the loyal three fell, they rest a rest away. Why can't I? I think I'm I think I'm dying. Through the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. The masks the loyal three stole are kept over at Kitakabi Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. It was strong and cool and it didn't care when everyone shunned it. I want to be as cool as the ogre. Okay. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm going to become someone people can rely on. And just maybe I could be that ogre's friend. Get our next picture. Look at that. Let's go. I knew it was the right call to let you handle it, Arlie. Now on to the next signboard. Okay, we passed this earlier. The mountain the stories say the ogre lives on, it's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. Oh boy. So if you keep climbing up, you'll reach the infernal pass. Let's do it. All right, we're going dreaded den mode. Oh boy, surely our team of Applin will do well against whoever this is. All right, I think we go up these stairs, right? Oni Mountain! Is that my man? Dunsparce! What are you doing here? I'm just gonna continue to ignore every trainer we see. Okay, so we gotta get up there. Magikarp, my man. He's back. Magikarp is just like in every game. Don't know if this is the way to do this, but here we go. Uh-oh. They got me here, huh? Okay, 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 okay. Oni Mountain! I'm a little too high now. Whoa, there is a lot happening up here. Okay, I feel like this is, we should not be here yet. Let's go turn around real quick. Where is it, right here? Okay, yes. 
Here we go. We are here. We definitely got here the intended way for sure. All right, we're going in. The dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. Come here all the time, but you've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if I heard some kind of battle going on. Okay, before we battle you... No, wait, hold on. No! Oh my god, I want to evolve! Okay, this will this will go well. We're gonna Terra Blast our way through this, and we're gonna, we're gonna use uh, our Dragon Terra move. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This will be easy, right, Clava? Oh, brother. He has three Pokemon. Didn't he have two last time? Oh no, we're done for. Okay, surely we don't lose $8,000 again. What are you talking about? How are we losing $8,000, but whenever we win, we only get $2,000? This family, they're a bunch of thieves. <laughs> Good luck, little Applin. Take over the world. Granny Smith is back and better than ever. And then, Flapple, here we go. All right, Applin. Show us the flapple. There's just something, something unsettling about this man. I don't know what it is, but he just freaks me out a little bit. All right, now we can look maybe at our uh, our moves real quick. Aerial ace could be huge. Body press. This could go sicko mode. I feel like maybe I don't know. We'll see. All right, to victory. Let's hope for the best here. Surely this will go better, especially if we're like higher level. I feel like it's gotta go better. All right, we'll probably go fat first, right? No, oh, we won't go first. Yanma, Yanma has been like destroying us lately. Come on, little buddy, you are so fast. Oh my God. Oh, we live that. Okay, we're fine. Thank God. Okay, we won a battle. This is huge for us. <laughs> All right, our team is vibing. We're doing fine. Do we lose almost every battle we do? Yes, but that's okay. If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure it'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. Let's go have a look at the ogre's den. Here we go. Is that the ogre? With the tree legs? See how dark it is in here and cramped? Even the floor's all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room at our house. I would have totally let it stay with us. The ogre really did show up to stay at our place. I'm sure the whole town would freak. No way, the sun's already gone down? Guess we'll have to save the last sign bird for tomorrow. I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall. It's a big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out, it'd be fun. Let's go together. Just swing by my house before heading to the festival. Look at my little phone. I'll be right behind you if you want to head to my family's place first. See you there. Grandpa, I'm home. This is a cute little home. This is Arlie. She's part of the same school trip as me and sis. This is your new friend? I sure am. Really? We're friends? Friends. I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. Arlie, this is my grandma. Do they not have names? They're just grandpa and grandma? The festival of masks starts tonight, huh? There we are. All done. Ooh, check me out, baby! Suits you mighty fine, just as I thought it would. Grant, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. The masks? They should be in the shed. Put them in there after last year's festival. Shouldn't be locked, so you three can go have a rummage and see what you find. There's gotta be another one. Arlie's here. Just rolling up like you own the place. Well, it looks like there's only two masks in the shed. I don't wanna battle for the mask. Guess you'll have to do without a mask. First come, first served, and all about that. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I don't wanna battle. I'm good to go. Don't look so glum. How about instead of a... How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Festival style. Hopefully we can lose this and everything is okay. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Did I get to heal at all? I'm, I'm about to lose so much money again. We'll just lose. Ay, ay, ay. The fact that they just throw you into these battles and they don't let you say no and you can't heal ever. I did have a chance to heal beforehand. Listen, Eternal. Could have went to the Pokemon Center. All of you, shut your mouth. I brought my chips from the airport yesterday. I bought these at the Denver airport. It was $3 for this little bag of Doritos. $3 bag of chips. Is he gonna eat his snack? He's gonna eat his snack. I don't wanna know how much money I just lost. I don't even wanna know. All right, so we have a we have a battle to do that we definitely lost last time. All right, let's try this again. All right, Appleton is back and better than ever. I think we, I think we got this. Sinistra? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So is this the, um, uh, is this the... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at him! 
<laughs> He's like the little... The Arizona green tea Pokemon. Thank God. Finally, we're done with that. Ay -ay -ay. It's not like beating me was going to cause another mask to magically appear. Now then, let me get my mask. Oh, wow. How's that? Look good, don't I? It's okay, Arlie. You can just wear my mask. What? No, I already said it's first come, first serve. Besides, that's your ogre mask. I always love that mask best. Arlie can just get her own mask at the festival. She's fine. I know my sis seems kind of harsh, but she's really not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing the shed apart, trying to find a third mask for for you before you got there. Festival of Masks is held up at Kitakami Hall. You should probably get going. Okay, where are we headed to? All the way over here? Since it's nighttime, I don't know if we've explored the area at night, but we can try to see if there are any nighttime Pokemon. Hoot Hoot! Hello, little guy. I just, there is something about Hoot Hoot. I think I just have a love and respect for Hoot Hoot because of Lemon, because we found that shiny Hoot Hoot during Safari Week. There is something about Hoot Hoot that I just adore. All right, I think I'm ready to go to this festival. Oh, Phantom! Hello, little guy. Okay, I'm glad I went the long way. Uh. Who is that little man? This is the Festival of Masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or wherever, right? Festival of Masks is held so we can all honor the Loyal Three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The Loyal Three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre. You know that. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the Loyal Three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? What are you laughing at? Nothing. I was just thinking it was funny that you don't know anything about the ogre. I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. Ay -ay -ay. Oh, look, they've got candy apples. Oh my god, is this it? <laughs> oh, look at that! The little diplin on the on the thing. We've got fruits and berries, beautiful candy coatings. Aw, oh, damn. I feel like I have to buy it, right? Watch all my applin evolve. An accident. <laughs> huh, okay. So I feel like the evolution probably has something to do with this. Excuse me, two can- Oh, I shouldn't have bought one. <laughs> uh, here, Riley, you can have one. Thanks. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know? There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Dude. Did I know that or what? No. What is this? She will not let me talk to her. Maybe we eat every single candy apple. Or maybe... What if... Okay, so what if we ate a... We ate an apple. No. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll figure it out later, I guess. It's said that long ago, this massive rock fell from the sky into Masui Town. It was feared that the ogre on the mountain threw the boulder to wreak havoc on the village, but now... But it is now understood to be a fragment of the Fallen Horn, one of the six wonders of Kitakami. Hmm. Step right up for a game of... Of what? Ogre... A Austin? So y'all wanna have a go? One of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? I can't... I can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Ogre oust Austin? What am I doing here? What? It's a traditional game that has been played in Masui Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables to try and earn yourself a high score. Playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside them. Also four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Let's see what we can do here. I already forgot what they wanted. I need red. Okay, where is the berry table? If Munchlax shows up, let him eat the berries. Oh, we're going again? Well, this is cute. Cute little game. A greedy greeted where? Oh, right there. I just need a blue. I, I, I. Oh, look at me in the Munchlax. And we don't acknowledge the squirrel. That was some fine dashing about. Let's see now. You scored 6,628 points. So here's your prize. Experience charm. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Let's go wander around a bit in the meantime. Oh my God, look at him go. How is nobody seeing this? Oh, he has a candy apple. All right, so here's this guy. Um, he's truly just hanging out right now.
the silence. Pawn? A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Are you enjoying the festival? That is not a child. <laughs> hey, Arlie, listen to this. It's nuts. That was about a kid. <laughs> a child. Who was that? Chase after the mysterious kid. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's just vibing. <laughs> Wait, Arlie, you shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. Whoa! You should come back, the mountain's dangerous at night. I can't really see it behind my camera, sorry. <laughs> that was a little guy! I found the teal mask! Put the teal mask in your bag's key item. Teal mask. A teal mask patterned after the face of an ogre? Ogre pawn? Ogre pawn? Dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the festival of masks. Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? Oh, uh, was it a Pokemon? What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean... That kid we just saw, they ran off toward the mountain? Could that have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Arlie, sis, what are you guys doing over here? We just bumped into the ogre! <laughs> what are you... Why are you yelling all of a sudden? It's nothing, nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. I get it, I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. Oh my god. At least he didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that. Blabbing for the whole world to hear? Don't you have any filter? Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really likes it. So if he found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. In any case, we already lied about it and that's that. We lied about it? Look at this person go. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Is that like a luxury ball? Spoink do be like, bouncy, bouncy. Had enough of the festival? Yes, I guess. Well then, I guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. We'll be back and we'll figure out how to evolve Diplin. And if you know how to evolve Diplin, please don't tell me. I don't want to know. There you are, Arlie. You haven't told anybody about, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? I have not. Better not be lying. If I found out you blabbed, I'm going to make you swallow a coughing hole. What? Still have you still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about it. What happened yesterday? You know where my house is, right? See there? Don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. Hello. My favorite character in the DLC named Grandpa. Hey Arlie, good morning. Wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find someplace else to be. Arlie's got business with me. Oh. Seriously, she's spending all her time with you. That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. This is so sad. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. We've got more important things to discuss, right, Arlie? You gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. My shiny charm? <laughs> Could this be? This mask? Belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried, to, I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah, I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its, with its presence. What do you mean still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmen. See, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Arlie. You also met the poor ogre. Or ogre pawn, as it's rightfully named. The story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. It's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Why not? What is so 
bad about telling the truth. I don't understand why we're so weird and secretive. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami for, from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. So they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. Man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. They were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers. The village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The, the masks were brilliant works adorned with gems the man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. How would that be any better? How would that be? You wear these like masks that nobody else is wearing and they're like, oh, that's much better. That looks way better. That's, that's fine. That's fine. But the way you actually look, that's not okay. What? How does this make any sense? What is wrong with this village? Anyway, the man and the ogre were overjoyed. I guess that's all that matters is that they were able to feel a sense of peace and happiness and be, being able to actually mingle with the village. Aye, aye, aye. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, Rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. The rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. Uh-oh. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami? The, the, the trio is evil? These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several, hour several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned the mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend? They found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The village, of course, had no idea what was happening nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen, trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three. Oh my god! Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone with great sadness. It's terrible. Ogre Pond didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three, they're the worst! The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, I told- I already told you to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa, the villagers believe their own version of history. They're the Loyal Three, so how could they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry? Exactly. Back when all of this first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter, but nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it says he was persecuted as a... as a heretic? That really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the MS maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't know. Why? Why not? <laughs> I don't understand. Why can't we tell him? The, the, the man with the ogre. Once the masks were stolen, except for the teal mask, where did the big guy go? The man. What happened to the guy? Lots of questions there. He just ran off, I guess? I don't know. He just seems really- he seems to really like the ogre. He's practically obsessed, and he's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he always was a sensitive child. I promise to tell Kieran and the whole story when the time is right. Till then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. Ugh. <sighs> okay. About the mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs? Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pine. <gasps> the drama! <laughs> he heard it all! Uh-oh. <laughs> I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its masks fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with this orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Oh, will we? He was lurking. 